Hello everyone, so I just finished watching 7500. It is a new Amazon Prime original movie. It is directed by Patrick Volrath and it stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt in the main role. He plays a character named Tobias. This is about a 90 minute thrill ride and yeah, it gets into the movie right away. But yeah, without further ado, let me review this movie. Let's talk about 7500. So as I just mentioned, this is about a 90 minute movie that's just a long, drawn out really stressful scenario about a pilot who he's flying a commercial aircraft from Berlin to Paris and his plane gets hijacked during the process. So it's hijacked by terrorists and in order to ensure the safety of not only himself and his passengers he's locked in the cockpit for this entire movie except for the first maybe five minutes where it shows security camera footage of the terrorists making their way onto the plane. The entirety of this movie takes place in the cockpit and it is, it's Tobias's story. So yeah, he's locked in the cockpits and of course the terrorists use this in many ways to blackmail him into opening the door so they can get in and crash the plane. There's just a bunch of things that depending on which side you're looking at it, it just creates a lot of stress and tenseness because the only part of the plane that Joseph Gordon-Levitt can see is the cockpit and then the camera directly outside of the cockpit. Like I said, in, within the first 10 of this, 10 minutes of this movie, it goes down, everything happens really quickly. As soon as the plane gets to a safe altitude where they can like turn off the, the seatbelt safety sign, the terrorists rush the cockpit and like, I'm not gonna get into this too much spoiler sake, but they rush the cockpit, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is able to close the door and secure himself in there but unfortunately one of the other terrorists made his way into the cockpit but he's been knocked out and yeah the rest of the movie just is basically him going over the standard procedures of what a pilot would have to do in this scenario and that's the thing that's kind of really relatable about this movie is it was just an average day for an average guy who wants to Get the flight over with and go home to his family at the end of the day it's no like bruce lee or liam neeson style action flick where you expect them to take on the terrorists no this is just a pilot who's still kind of still learning the ropes a little bit like he's experienced but he is another pilot there who's kind of like the head pilot who's teaching him a few things and just basically running him over for a quick check if he's good to kind of step up to the new position to a role with a lot more responsibility. Like I said, it's really stressful and it's so effective in doing so because we feel like we're trapped in the cockpit with Tobias and we would have to make the exact same choices he makes. It's do I open the cockpit for these, do I open the doors to the cockpit for these terrorists making all these demands? Do I let the passengers die? Do I tell them to fight? But it's basically like I said, his view of the entire plane is really limited. He's talking to the passengers and making calls based off of very limited information. It's really stressful, but it's so effective and it does an amazing job playing out the events in a really realistic and stressful way that makes you question what would you be doing in a scenario like this? Like I said, there's not a lot that they could do with this scenario, but it makes perfectly effective use of everything that this movie has going for it. It executed on everything absolutely perfect and it is like really tense, really stressful. It, every movie that it tries to convey in every situation and choice that it makes Tobias make in this movie just makes you question what you would, like I said, what would you be doing in this scenario? And it's just all very effective and just shot perfectly in my opinion. I feel like they could have built on the motivations of the terrorists a little bit. There is um, one little speech that you get to hear, but um, you don't really get to know too, too much about them. And unfortunately the one terrorist that you get to learn, he kind of takes over the movie in the last quarter of it, which to kind of suck me out a little bit of it because Joseph Gordon-Levitt takes a side seat for a little bit and it's all about this one terrorist and just wasn't he was so conflicted and I wish we would have seen that a little more in some of the other characters instead of them just being more tropey and yeah unfortunately like it, it just wasn't a character that I enjoyed watching but still like it kept me stressed and engaged into the story just not as much as the first 75 80 percent of this movie did but as for the acting it's all like pretty stellar really really well done just Gordon levitt nails the role he's always been like 
an actor I really respected. I think he's very, very talented and he definitely brings everything that needed to come into the role into this role. He does an amazing job with it too. And then one thing that I thought was so effective is that there is not a single piece of music in this entire movie. And like I said, it just did a really good job putting you into the cockpit with him and just letting the stress, anxiety, whatever feelings you get, but just basically the stress on this of the scenario be the music for it to just let the scene speak for itself, which I thought too was really cool, unique, and effective. With all this taken together, that's why I'm going to give 7500 a 7 out of 10. It was a very well executed movie and I do highly recommend it. It's worth the watch. So as always, you can like this video and you can also check out all of my other movie reviews and any other <laughs> thing that I do on this channel through my playlist below. But as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, definitely check out this movie on Amazon Prime. Awesome guys, have a good one.